Hi guys, it's um, Kat here from Jolly Jam Journals and I want to um, take a video of my op shop haul. I went out today, um, out and about, and I called into um, one actually. Yes, I think I only went to one, no, I went to two, two of my favourite op shops and um, I got some little goodies, so I wanted to show you guys all what I got. Um, I love working for, um, with lace, so I am always on the lookout for, for little bits of lace. And um, I got these two bags here for a dollar each, and they're nice and fat. Um, I haven't really had a good look at what's inside of them, um, so I thought I would just take a um, little look here. But um, look at all this lace. So um, I love this, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like an ivory coloured lace and it's got like little dark brown chocolatey bits through it. And I thought that would look really pretty against tea dyed um, or coffee stained paper. Um, so I've got plenty, plenty of that and um, then I've got this lovely, you know, quite a thick wadding here. Of um, yeah, it's a lovely um, again. It's like a dark coffee flavor, uh, coffee flavored, coffee colored. Um, and it's got pretty little um, scallops or flowers or yeah, no, very very pretty. So that that will come in use. I will like to enjoy using that. This is um, again a, a lovely pretty. Um, tea stained sort of um, ivory colour with some pretty flowers on it and this one here look at this how thick is that that will come in handy I can use that on belly bands I can use that on covers I can use that even as pocket trims like wow I don't often see thick lace like that so um, that's what attracted me to that bag and this is the other bag here, and I paid a dollar each for these bags, which I thought was pretty good. Um, so look at all these little bits. And the reason I also liked it is that even though there's some ruffled um, bits, oh that's pretty. That's um, oh yeah, got some nice little round flowers on it. Not a lot of that, but that that will. It's a decent size. And some white. Um, I've tried tea staining um oh that's a, a nice nice thick i don't know that's probably about um nearly five centimeters maybe in four centimeters um and it's got a nice little ruffle on it um and look oh this is so pretty this is very delicate it's almost like a voile and um it's got some pretty um flowers all the way through it and little bows um, this is like a cream colour. That's the right side there. Where is that? And it's hard to tell sometimes with these laces. I think that is the right side there. That's very pretty. Um, yeah, so, so lots and lots. This is pretty. It's almost like a little chain. Um, oh, that is very nice. I can see that being used on some belly bands. That one there. Um, yeah, so I was pretty ex oh that's a pretty one as well, there's not much of that one. Um, that's nice too. But um, yeah, that's a little trick. Uh, if you don't like all the ruffles, you can actually take that off, which is looks what's, it looks like someone's done that, they've unpicked it. And then you can flatten it out and you can use that as edging on your pages or tags or any decorative purpose so yeah it looks like I'll be sitting there and I'll finish unpicking all of that one um, but yeah I've, I've got quite a nice collection of laces and I did order some nice ones on uh, that's a pretty one as well that's a nice wide one I'm looking for more wider ones because I'm starting to put these on pages as flip ups um, Oh, that's that's pretty. That's a little bit different. That's just got like lots of little dots on it, almost like little maybe daffodils. No, just patterns. I think that one's pretty. So that's that. 
Um, and then I got this um, huge big piece of doily um, or napkin, I'm not sure what you would call it, um, but I liked it because I like the edging on it. You can see the edging. You can um, make cut cut that like one of these carefully cut it and you can glue it and then you can put it onto the edge of a page as a tab and you can hang a charm off that um, or on the top of the page but I also really um, really liked that as well I thought yep yeah, I can see something nice happening with that so um, yeah that's that and that was um, for the grand sum of two dollars and there's heaps there and not to mention the fact that i can use all the inside of that as well that looks like almost like i think that's like a calico um or i don't think it's a linen but anyway i can use that in journals as well and i guess everything christmasy is coming out at the moment um whoops, there's my dog <laughs> But excited you can hear her pattering probably a little feet but I got all these um, little um, I think they're called fats or quarters um, quartz um, of but I don't think they are I think well they could be um, but I bought some new actually from a scrapbook store and it, it, it it, it wasn't cheap <laughs> um, here you go um, oh it's a five-piece bundle um, from fabric editions made in India I wonder whether this was maybe from spotlight or something I don't know if it's a five um, piece bundle 100% cotton it looks like it was probably purchased from spotlight but anyway I thought with Christmas oh this is nice um, it almost looks like it's been stained but I don't I don't think it has it looks like it's been inked but um, yeah, my dog is a English Safi and her name is Betty Boo and um, she needs her nails clipped really badly. Um, so yeah, I got plenty of um, fabric here, which I'm sure I will find uses for. So I was happy with that and I paid <laughs> three dollars for all of that and I can tell you now I've paid a lot more than that. Um, there's another little... Um, shop that I like to go to and what I like to do is alter tins and uh, I've been doing it with my stepdaughter as well um, Isla and she she um, quite enjoys it with me as well so this one's a plain one um, and I thought it's a circle I've not done a circle before but I'm getting a little bit better at it and um, having a smoother finish so I thought oh, I'll give that give that a go so I decoupage over these and this one here I just really liked it. It's a chest and it's um, Pirates of the Caribbean and it's a little money box. But I thought I would have a go at um, altering that one. So what else did I get? I got some um, Christmas cards. So I got, I just liked them because I thought they looked nice and vintage -y and they'll go with the Christmas journals I'm doing. So I got, I got that and I got the two tins. And I got, now I thought this was really cute. Now I know in my day job, um, one of my uh, clients, because I work in um, finance, I guess you could say, and he collects um, notes. <laughs> so I found this in a little um, jar and it's a miniature $50 note, $20 note, $10 note, $5 note and $2 note. So I thought I'm gonna make him a little card or something for Christmas and I'm gonna attach that somehow so I got these what else did I get I, think I got something else from there but I can't think what else I got but anyway I paid I think four dollars for those but I'm sure I got something else as well but anyway I can't find that so it's still a bargain because sometimes you can pay 50 cents each a card for these in op shops so I think I, I did pretty well on that one um, then I went to the other one where I got all the laces and I love doing the golden books I've only done one um, but I really enjoyed it and I think it's going to be a thing for me because I've got about probably a dozen little golden books um, so yeah I got these two here 
I got the tail of Peter Rabbit for a dollar. And this one is 1993. Um, that's the, uh, and it's illustrated by, is that Cindy? Yeah, Cindy Zacharis. I'm not sure who, how you pronounce that. And then I got the Jungle Book for a dollar. I think that's pretty awesome. You can pay sometimes up to $5 for, for, for those. And um, now I did not get this from an op shop. Um, I go to a rare bookshop here. I'm in um, Perth in Western Australia. And um, there's a little rare book shop that I go to sometimes. And I'll tell that story one day about how I ended up going there. Um, but yeah, I just went through all their children's books and I found this Sam the Firehouse Cat and I've not ever seen one of these and look how old and vintage -y those papers are. This is Golden Press Sydney. doesn't even have, oh yes it does, it's 1970. So um, I just thought the illustrations were just really beautiful in this. Um, and then I, it's got all these like little ads and stuff, like little coupons and that on the back which I've not seen. So I got that. So that will be another little golden book I'll do. But at the same um, rare bookshop, I want to try and scan some pages. So um, I've been looking for some lovely pretty botanicals and I found this Garden Flowers Batsford Colour Books. Look how pretty that cover is. And um, it is illustrations chosen from Mrs. Jane Webb Luden's volumes, Flower Garden of Annuals, Perennials and Bulbous Plants, published in the er, published early in the last century. So there's um, illustrations of traditional English flowers such as daisies, foxgloves, lilies and cornflowers, as well as some more exotic plants such as Chinese asters and Mexican zinnias. The introduction and notes on the plates are by Robert Gathorn. Gethon Hardy. I sh probably should work out how to say these names. Second impression of a Batsford book. So I didn't get this cheap, I will confess, but um, as I said, I'm not going to rip this book up, no way. I'm going to see if I can um, scan it though, um, but I guess I'd better check out copyrights and all that sort of stuff. But I'll just do a quick flip through, and um, there's some black and white images there. But look how pretty that is and honestly I don't know if probably camera probably doesn't do it justice but it is absolutely gorgeous look at that one I can see some pretty um I want to do a garden journal um and an entomology journal which is like insects um so I will do pages pretty pages like this. There's one thing I haven't really got my head around is um, how to get all the pretty pages because um, I know uh, there's a lot of digital downloads there um, but yeah how do you get these pages? Um, I see some people use original book pages um, but there is no way I'm going to chop this book up um, and I've just never seen books like this um, cheaply that you could do that or if I have they've had shiny pages and I don't like those. Um, so there's some writing. So I'm going to have a go at scanning this and I'm going to try and get the, um, the wording on the back as well and make it a double page and then I can, um, you know, decoupage or something on those. But have a look at how beautiful, how beautiful are uh, all these. I was really wrapped. Look at that double page. Perennials. Um, Foxgloves, pretty pretty foxgloves, and this one here, peonies, peonies. <laughs> I love flowers and I love my gardening, but I must say I'm not really great at the um, the names. This is a garland of lilies, and these are um, original how they were at the turn of the century. I was reading a little bit as well, so on the very last page there, how pretty is that? A group of sisters. And then there's camellias. I love camellias. Absolutely adore camellias. Oh, my pets tonight are just so noisy and demanding. I think um, 
much she wants to be fed. <laughs> and then quickly, just a couple of other things. I, I got this little jar of beads for $2. They're just like little wooden beads. I haven't really had a proper look through these, but I just thought such pretty colours and unusual and I'm thinking I might use these for my golden hooks. So yeah, I'll go through those and uh, have a bit of a look at all that. So I'll just put that all over the side and sort that out. And then I got these. So I paid two dollars for that lot and I paid 50 cents for these and then I paid 50 cents for these. And these are wooden um, wooden beads so I was thinking uh, might even they're, they're kind of an orangey but almost a rusty orange I thought maybe Christmas journals in the tassels I might use them or maybe hanging off the pages and just quickly the last thing um, I just um, I've been trying to sort out these glassine bags um, oh here we go just I'll just grab some this and I know this is a very popular thing in junk journals and um, it's crinkly and it's slightly see-through and this is some vintage ephemera that was given to me by a lovely lady in a, another book exchange type shop um, so that will be a very special journal or lots of little journals that will be used in that but I've been trying to find these glassine bags now I am a member of um, Junk Journals Down Under Facebook group and I think it was there, someone asked and they said that they made them um, out of uh, uh, wax paper or baking paper. So I tried that and uh, very fiddly <laughs> and I got glue everywhere and I'm fussy as anything so if there was a little smear of glue I was like no, nah, that's just not going to cut the mustard. Um, so anyway, I searched and I found uh, eBay. I've been doing a bit of shopping on eBay and Amazon of late, but I think this is eBay. And I found this thing, mini envelope glassine bags. And I thought, all right, I'll give it a go. I think I only paid maybe $4. Well, jeepers, they are mini. Look at that, guys. That fits in my hand. <laughs> So I was like, okay, that's a little bit smaller than I thought, um, but look at this. This is a photo of my grandmother. Um, sorry, Let's see if you can see. I think she's, I don't know how old she is, I think she's about 15 there. She was a real beauty, my grandmother. And um, I've been enjoying um, sorting out all her old photos and I've got a couple of her journals and stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, I picked it up and um, I thought, wow, I print these out and I think it's, doc it's doc document or wallet size and I had to slightly trim it, but not much. And they fit, they fit in there. So I think that that's probably how I end up using them. So anyway, that was my haul. Um, I think I enjoyed, oh, and the lace, I love the lace. I loved it all actually. But yeah, um, I'll probably share some of this in Happy Mail, in Rack Mail, um, I'll share it around as well. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope it hasn't been too long a video. And, um, it's probably still recording. <laughs> no, it hasn't, okay. Uh, well, yeah, so that was the end of that. Um, but thank you very much for watching um, and um, have a great day. Bye.